Hey, have you heard any good books lately? This is your host, Ken Joy, welcoming you to another episode of Talking Audiobooks. All right, and we're back. Uh, Literally, uh, I took a five-month break, so, and we're really back. So usually when people say, and we're back, they've only been gone a couple minutes, but it's been five months. Okay, I understand that, and you've all been waiting patiently for new episodes. I know that I can just feel it. Patience prevails. You guys have been wanting more episodes. Well, Here they come, but they're going to be a little bit different, and I'll tell you how. If you uh, listen to episode three of the show, which was the last episode, um, we had a very special guest, Casey Crowbridge, that came on and told us all about awesome things that you can do to get free audiobooks, free stuff, discounts. And it occurred to me, listening back to that show when it uh, finally aired, that This guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to audiobooks and has a passion that is just off the charts. So, in the little couple months that I've been trying to figure out how to get this podcast uh, fired up and going again um, and get it done amid all the billions of other things that I seem to always be doing as well, it occurred to me, what if I asked Casey if he would like to take over the show and host the show from henceforth to forever and uh, we talked we chatted and much to my surprise and delight he said yes so casey are you there i am indeed here um i'm taking over you know i I think it's nice the way you said it but let's tell the people the truth i heard the show i was like ken hasn't done anything in five months i'm just gonna take over and i (laughs) beat you with it i beat you with a folding chair and you know sucker punched you and just took the show and drug you out of the closet to make you officially turn the reins over to me so i'm officially out of the closet now then is that what you're saying well in war in at least one way okay um not in the tom cruise way apparently right okay but you know that that's for a very special episode of talking audio <laughs> this podcast but you know how the how they all always used to do those on sitcoms back in the day like mm-hmm. very special different strokes and nancy reagan would be on right it. or natalie was dealing with menopause or whatever happened to right. yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah so basically ken has it right he uh, and i had been talking since the show last aired and we uh mainly chit-chatted about the weather and other things but we kept in touch and we were uh, talking about some things about oh i guess it would be a little less than a month ago you asked me you said hey um i'm i'm too busy for this little podcast thing you know these listeners that not really that important to me, but you know, if I <laughs> hoisted them off onto you. Okay, he might have used different words. Yeah, I think I might have. I might be inferring some things, but, <laughs> but no, um, seriously, though, he said, would you be willing to take over as host? You, uh, his standards for a good job are kind of low because he thought I did one, so oh here gosh. I am. And I will be the... I will be the future host of talking audiobooks starting uh next week that's right we're next oh, we're, we're, so we're gonna do yeah, it next we're gonna week. talk about some stuff yeah we we're the, the plan the plan is to go weekly and you know there's a there's a saying that uh, man plans, God laughs. So <laughs> we'll see how much of this goes wrong. But the plan is to go weekly, and the plan is to have a new regular episode up on Fridays, Fridays. probably. Okay. That's, and uh, a plan. we're going to uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of the things that we talked about in the uh, episode where I was interview subject. Um, we're going to talk about what's going on in the industry. If there's any interesting news articles that come across the Twitter sphere or the social media networks or my own research, uh, we'll talk about them on the show. We'll probably run down the audible bestsellers for the week. Um, they come out. We'll talk about free stuff when there's 
things to give away. We're going to try to do some fan feedback stuff. We may even be giving away some book credits from time to time for people to, uh, to encourage people to write in and uh, send us feedback and, Oh yeah, plan to do some interviews. We authors, narrators, people who actually work on assembling these projects, engineers, publishers. Uh, I can tell you the 2017 Audi Awards are June 1st. I will be watching that. We'll talk about that on the show. That'd probably be the June 9th episode. Would be the Audi's recap. We're going to try to keep people apprised of deals and sales and things. Um, there might be some mini episodes where to get them out quicker, to give people more advantage, to take uh, more time to take advantage rather of sales things. We might push one out that's, you know, like a five minute thing telling you who's got a sale going on and what's in it and how to access it, stuff like that. So, you could interview me as being the the former host of a podcast about audiobooks. I could. Like, what's it like to be kicked off your own yeah. podcast? Uh, I'll be. What I'll be doing is I'll be like, uh, you know, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I will be doing right. all of the knob turning and twirling. I mean, it's and... going to be like, yeah, it's going to be like your regular life on the podcast. <laughs> Nobody pays attention, and <laughs> except when they need you to do their tech yes, support or lawn maintenance. That's about the only time I get caught. Right. Right. But actually, though, uh, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, oh, that's too bad. I rather enjoy hearing Ken's voice on the show. I'm sad he's not going to be around. Ken is going to be around. I be promise around. you're going to hear him. You're going to hear him read some commercials. <laughs> um, yeah, Just try to keep me off the air, Casey. Just try. Just try. The, the, the part, yeah, the parts that you don't want to hear, those will be done by Ken. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to have some releases to highlight from uh, PDQ, uh, sponsor of the show. we got Audible stuff to talk about, but we're going to talk about more than just what's going on at Audible. Um, Although we love you, Audible. We do. We still, They're still a sponsor of the show, and Audible is... The reason you. that we get yeah. up in the morning. That, well, it certainly helps. Um, they are the they are the industry leader. It'd be like talking about, um, you know, it'd be like talking about a foot uh, doing a football podcast, and not talking about the best team would be uh, eliminating Audible from the show. It just wouldn't make sense. But we're going to talk about other people too and what's going on at different retailers and different companies and. Um, I, I do kind of want to make a point when I say that, because we kind of live in this society now where like everything that comes up in conversation seems to be taken as an endorsement. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that is on the show here, when it's, for example, if. Barack Obama, the former president, has a new audiobook coming out. We're going to talk about the fact that he has a new audiobook coming out on the show because he's a newsmaker. He's obviously the former president, pretty famous. If he narrates it himself, that's, that's Married news. Married to uh, Michelle Obama? Fam right. Famous yeah. right. Heard of her, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big really popular with the school lunch crowd I hear. <laughs> um, but you know, it, <laughs> you weren't expecting. My, me I to wasn't. Say that, 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 that tickled me. That was good. Well, you know, it's glad, glad to t be able to tickle from miles and yes, miles away. Right. But so, but anyway, like that's going to be news, but, you know, a certain pe a certain percentage of the population would would hear that and think, oh, well, you're promoting this liberal agenda by talking about Barack Obama's audiobook and such and such a thing. And the same is true, say, if, for example, uh, Rush Limbaugh were to write his autobiography, 
uh, that might come up on the show. But if that does, a certain segment of the population would um, accuse me of uh, right wing propaganda. So, uh, by even so what you're saying is we're, we're going to be an equal opportunity offender, basically, is what you're saying. Right. We are. I I am going for for neutrality. If it makes news, we'll talk about it. It's not a hidden um, it's not a hidden agenda or anything like that. It's just that it's news. We want to get out as much news as we can, and so we're going to talk about it. And it's not always going to be for everybody. An and another another thing is like if if I say, "Hey, um, the, the website christianaudio.com is having a sale on audio Bibles for the rest of this month. That is not a subversive attempt to convert someone. That is just me telling you that there are Bibles on sale, and if you want them, that's where you can go there to get go. one. You don't have to. If that news does not interest you, that's fine. There will be another story uh, coming along in a few minutes, I promise. You'll have something else to... You'll have something else, but we're going to try to cover as much ground as we can. And well, that's why God invented the uh, fast-forward buttons. That's right, except on iTunes. Yeah, for why some is that? I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't. But know. I think it was on my first, the first podcast. It's been so many months ago, I can't remember now. But um, I think I covered the books of both uh, Mr. Trump and uh, Miss Clinton. Uh, and you did. No one could tell. I hope from uh, the way that uh, we presented the books uh, that I voted for Barry Goldwater. So, um, well, there you go. Um, He's a write in candidate. Right. I just, it's either him or Mickey Mouse that I write in pretty much every election. So, okay. So, back to that thing about having a show on every Friday. If there isn't one, you'll know that Casey has been drinking and. And yeah, my liver there. went out. It's fine. Right. I, I'll need a transplant. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, and, and another thing. Another thing that I think I'm going to do is um, when it comes to book reviews, um, I might try to keep those separate from the main show as well. They probably won't be too long. They'll probably be like five or six minutes plus maybe a little audio excerpt. But I want to do it that way for a couple of different reasons. Number one, um, if if a book doesn't really interest you and you don't think I'm going to be able to talk you into it, then you don't have to listen to that little episode. But also, I have certain genres that I like and certain um, things that are sort of my go-to reads. I, I tend to cover a lot. I, I read mysteries and thrillers, science fiction and fantasy, uh, biographies, history, sports, science and tech, even you know some humor and uh, radio and TV and stuff like that. But there's also a few genres where I'm sort of weak. As far as my reading, I don't read a lot of self-development, you know, self-help books, and I don't read any romance. Well, and anything so, you want to talk about there, Casey? Um, no, okay. the you know therapy's going okay, well, good, but good, um, good. the the so what I'm hoping, I mean, if you ask me for like what would be the coolest thing is. Someday I'd like to get to a point where we can take audio book reviews from other people and put them up on the feeds to cover the uh, things that I miss well, out on. Go. And also it'd be great to hear from listeners. What what are you listening to these days and what did you like about it? Exactly. Um, and to that end, to keep track of what I'm listening to and reading and to follow along with me as I drop things on the show. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Goodreads at Audiobook Casey. That's all one word, Audiobook, C-A-S-E-Y, Audiobook Casey. Um, and that's going to be important because on on the Facebook, Twitter, and other social media pages, um, we, we'll have audio episodes that talk about things going on sale but to hear about them first the easiest place to look will be our social media feeds because when i hear about something i will record and try to get it up as quick as i can but i'm going to get it posted to the social media accounts first and foremost so a lot of the news articles that we may talk about on the show 
are going to be there as well. And they'll all appear in the show notes each week, so you can find them on the Talking Audiobooks webpage. And you'll never have a problem finding the stuff that we talk about if you really want to know where it is, because it'll either be on the social media or it'll be on the Talking Audiobooks page under the show notes. As long as I get that stuff to Ken and he remembers to put them in there, we'll be fine. If it's not there, it's his fault, and you can. It was my turn to you know, drink that week. What can I tell you? Uh, yeah, that's talkingaudiobooks.com. Yes, talkingaudiobooks.com. By the way, is where you can go for the. Yeah, always get it. Where I know the show notes will always appear. Uh, if you're listening to this on iTunes, uh, you know your mileage may vary. I don't know. Right. That's why you should just go to the Talking Audiobooks you website. Should. Of course, it doesn't, we don't get counts then, on iTunes that you listen to it there, but okay. iTunes is everybody's favorite software, except for everyone. <laughs> okay. I can tell you Apple's not going to be a sponsor anytime soon, so... Well, you know... Um, what did Ronald Reagan say? The most dangerous words were "I'm here, I'm from the government, and I'm here yes, to help." Yes, there you go, there you go. Well, in in 2017, I have found that the most dangerous words are "There is a new version of iTunes. <laughs> Click here to download it." And oh, that is so true and so sad at the same time. Well, I'll tell you what, I, this is this is um, leaking a little bit. You heard it here first kind of news, um, and this will probably be the only time I get to say anything like this on the show again, ever. But a, a Talking Audiobooks app is on the way, and if we haven't totally offended Apple uh, by talking about them in the last few minutes, uh, they'll actually uh, get it up and uh, downloadable on the App Store, also on Google Play, uh, and also on Microsoft, and you can take the podcast with you literally everywhere you go that you have your phone or our, uh, any kind of device, actually, your computer, your iPad, your Android phone, whatever it is. Uh, there'll be the current issue. You'll get a little notification. Please turn on notifications whenever a new episode uh, lands. And you'll also have all the old episodes, um, let's say previous, previous yeah, the, episodes. The massive library yes. of previous all, episodes. All three of the ones that I did. And then, uh, <laughs> hey, they'll probably be classics at some point, Casey. So. You know what? I'll, all I have to do is more than three. Well, there you go. And then you've, you've beat my record. And then, That's true. They'll take me out of the Smithsonian. But, um, and, uh, we'll, we'll call this your fourth. We'll be nice. Oh, thanks. Okay. So you have four then to get to do to tie me. And then after that, I'll be removed from the Guinness book. There's always the possibility that you're going to be in there for coffee. Well, drink. there you go. So. And uh, to that end, hold on, please. Okay, good. And speaking of that, I'm glad you brought the Talking Audio uh, Books app up. And this is why I keep them around. Um, <laughs> you also have some news for the people who happen to be fans of Amazon's Alexa, do you not? Oh, yes. Uh, Alexa and Podbean, who are the ones who actually syndicate this show out to the millions, uh, four or five of you that have listened before, where you can voice activate and search for the, your favorite podcast on Alexa. You can say, Alexa, play the Talking Audiobooks podcast. And I'm assuming it'll come up with the most recent one, or if it's smart, it'll ask you, I found five. Which would you like to hear? And you can tell it whichever you want, you want to hear. But that's that's kind of pretty cool technology, actually. Yeah, if you're one of those people that likes to talk to Alexa while you're doing the dishes or what there have you, go. that will be quite the so handy. Another place to uh, listen to the feature. podcast. You know, more stuff will be coming. You know, what the show looks like next week and what it looks like five months from now when I do episode two will be... <laughs> um, might be completely different. No, um, it, listen, I've spent far too much time over the past month getting ready for this to just wait another five months to do an there episode, even to be yes, funny. There you go. You know, so uh, I promise there will be new content and that you will be fun. And uh, Ken, as a matter of fact, I talked earlier about the fact that we would be talking about some industry news on mm -hmm. the show. And I thought this would be a good place and point in time to demonstrate that by playing a bit from NPR this past week. It actually aired on the 17th, 
we'll insert it into the show. It's an audio uh, story. It uh, m- played on Morning mm-hmm. Edition. Uh, it is called A Publisher Tries to Use Podcasts as a Gateway to Audiobooks. And so we'll throw that in, and you can hear the type of stuff that we're going to be talking about. Just throw to that right now. Podcasts. Everyone seems to have one. <clears throat> and more and more people are listening to them. At the same time, sales for audiobooks are growing faster than any other segment of the publishing industry. And that got NPR's Lynn Neary wondering if podcasts might be helping to drive listeners to audiobooks. She discovered the answer is not that clear cut. Macmillan Audio, a division of one of the big five New York-based publishing houses, got into podcasting a decade ago, says president and publisher Mary Beth Roach. It looked like an interesting new way of reaching consumers uh, at, at a time when we were experimenting with a lot of different digital ideas. McMillan teamed up with Minion Fogarty, who had started her own podcast network, beginning with her own podcast, Grammar Girl. Some of the most dangerous words you can throw around are always and never. They almost beg people to ask, really? Never? Roach says McMillan helped Fogarty build the Quick and Dirty Tips Network, QDT for short. It was an opportunity to build a network of podcasts that were all a very particular type, short format, tip-oriented, actionable, helpful advice on a variety of subjects. But now, McMillan Audio wants to expand into a different format, the long-form narrative. And to do that, it has turned to Tor Books, which specializes in genre fiction. Fantasy, horror, and science fiction. (laughs) All the good, gooey, wonderful, fannish, delightful, geeky wondrousness. Jen Gunnels is an editor at Tor Books, which has just launched a new podcasting project. It reverses the traditional route for publishing a book. Most publishing text... Print is the primary edition format. And we thought, well, what's to say we couldn't make audio the primary format? And we kind of went from there, um, building it from the ground up. Starting in August, Tor will release a 14-part podcast of an original audio drama called Steal the Stars by Mac Rogers. It's a love story set at a secret military base where an alien and its spacecraft are under guard. This clip from a demo tape gives a hint of what's to come. Have you been contacted about Moss, the Harp, Object E, or any ongoing operations at Quill Marine by anyone unaffiliated with Quill Marine? No. Please remain still and silent until I tell you otherwise. Once all 14 episodes of the podcast have aired, Macmillan will release an audiobook and also a novelization of the play in paperback and ebook form. Mary Beth Roach says Macmillan Audio is interested in experimenting with podcasts because they're a gateway to audiobooks. For people who are just getting used to spoken word entertainment, it's an interesting entry point. Um, it's not too much of a commitment. It's not as scary as say, oh, I'm going to download this 30-hour audiobook. Roach points to the popular podcast Serial as an example. A lot of people came to that. They heard about it. They were enjoying it and thought, what else can I listen to? But there's another way that Serial and other popular podcasts drive listeners to audiobooks. Support for Serial comes from Audible. Audible, the Amazon-owned behemoth of the audiobook world, both sells audiobooks and produces original audio content. I love the fact that more people are listening. Andy Gaze is Audible's chief content officer. Audible believes it has made long-form listening a habit for millions of people, and that has helped the podcast boom. Gaze says there is a synergy between podcasts and audiobooks, and it benefits both. The more people with headphones in listening to the spoken word means that the investment that that Audible has made in content, in customer service, in technology, and the large amount of money we spend raising awareness is succeeding. And whatever path people take to experience spoken word content for the first time is fantastic. And there may be one overriding reason why both podcasts and audiobooks are doing so well. People just like listening to stories. Lynn Neary, NPR News, Washington. Okay, and we're back. And we are back. And Ken, I have to tell you, I I think that's uh, good news for us because um, I had always thought personally that the growth in podcasts and the growth in audiobooks could be tied together. Uh, It just seemed to make natural sense to me that if you would be willing to listen to one, you would be willing to listen to the other. I certainly listen to some podcasts that are as long as some audiobooks that I've 
uh, heard in my day. So three, four hour episodes of certain podcasts that I, that I enjoy. So um, the fact that publishers are taking notice and the fact that I'm not the only one who thinks there's a connection it always, it's always nice to have someone else validate your crazy opinions, and now I have someone validating mine with Macmillan Audio in their little uh, endeavor And there it's about time. We, what took them so long yeah, to, I, to put these dots together? Right. But at least they did it. You know, like, I have to say, like, you'd be surprised how, how often I come to stuff late. <laughs> um, you know... I, I joke sometimes that I just got a rotary phone last week. That's, you know, and I'm going to have to explain to a whole bunch of people what a rotary phone is, but that's fine. It's one step up from the two paper cups tied together with a long piece of string that people, people used back when you recorded episode one of the podcast here. Uh, Technology. Pretty amazing. Except when it doesn't. Like iTunes. <laughs> Sorry, Apple. We do love you, kind of. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, Apple. I, I I have an Apple TV. I have an iPad. I have an iPhone. Uh, I don't have a Mac, although that's probably going to be next. You don't have but, a. You uh, don't have your a Mac. iTunes needs. You don't support. have a Mac. Uh, no, I have okay. a PC. Uh, we're going to be looking for a new host for the podcast, folks. So you, anybody who'd like to <laughs> reply, feel free. Yeah, it'll take another five months for you to <laughs> Probably another ten months to find one that'll work you as know, cheap as I I just do. choose to do everything in five month increments. So, you know, hey. Well, you know. I guess if you're ever elected president, we'll know how long that'll it'll be. Last. My first executive order five five months from then. Yeah, because what what we'll all want is an election every five <laughs> months instead. <laughs> Well, what else do we want to talk about or say or do before we let this episode slide off into podcast oblivion and you get ready to come back and just wow us with, you know, wowable stuff? Hopefully you guys have low standards for being wowed. Um, hey, they're going to be actually, driving in the car and listening. How much attention can they be paying? To that, this? That's come true. On. Well, the way some people drive. Well. Probably a lot. Well, if you're driving in L.A., you're pretty much sitting still most of the time. So actually, I guess they would be paying more attention than, say, if they're driving in oh, South Dakota. Well, that's true. We don't have a lot of traffic jams up here, but we do have a lot of people who don't know how to yeah. drive. They must have all come from L.A. Maybe. Um, actually, a cousin of mine used to live in California, and she she uh, would have problems when she would come back to South Dakota because she would ride the bumper of the car in front of her. No, it wasn't necessary to do so. Uh, <laughs> kinds of road, room on the road and they'd still be bumper to bumper because she is so used that to it. That's pretty California. funny. So right now it's summer. I don't know if you are aware of this. The calendar says spring, but um, you know, schools are getting out and stuff. So it's, it's summer break. It's going to be 95 here tomorrow in L.A., so there where you are, it's going to be like, what, 12? During the summer months, there is a program called uh, Audiobook Sync for Teens, and what this does is every week for, oh, I'm guessing like 14 weeks or so throughout the summer, uh, they offer two free audiobooks Um that are, uh, I guess, donated by publishers. The aim is to keep teens and young people reading slash listening during the summer months. And that's a really valuable thing. It, it's not necessarily reading related, but anecdotally, um, where I live, there's a lot of English as a second language speakers. And so there's uh, in, in our local school district, we're one of the few in South Dakota that has an ESL department. And they always talk about at school board meetings when test, when test scores are reviewed and stuff amongst the ESL students, they always bring up the fact that, you know, they come in and they learn the language. But then during the summer months when they're at home and not in school, they're not practicing it. 
And when when they come back the next fall, to start with, it's a lot of review because they were out of practice speaking English over the summer. So they they feel like they lose out by not having the kids in class during the summer. I think reading skills are a lot like that, too, and listening skills and putting things into uh, context. You can fall out of the habit if you don't do it. So the SYNC program is designed to keep teens and young people listening uh, during the summer and expose them to audiobooks. So uh, this is, I believe, the eighth year of the program right now that they are doing. And like I said, every week they give away two free books. And all you have to do is go to audiobooksync.com. That's audiobook and then S-Y-N-C dot com. And there will be a blog post up with the links to the two titles that you can download. You're going to need a piece of software called the Overdrive Media Console. It is um, available for Mac and Windows and iOS and Android devices and pretty much anywhere you could think to want to get content. It's used by libraries a lot. It's, I think it's an Adobe product if that if that's wrong, I'm wrong and I apologize, but I believe that's an Adobe product. And there's links on the Audiobook Sync website that can tell you how to download it and stuff like that. And you need it to download the files, but once they're downloaded, they're MP3s and you can import them into iTunes if it doesn't crash. And then you can <laughs> uh, do all do all the things that you would normally do with an audiobook. But this... As you're listening to this podcast, if Ken does his job right, it should be around the 26th of of um, whatever month this is. If this is out the week of the 26th, then the books that are going to be available as of the 25th, the 25th of May through June the 1st, there are two titles. One is called Freakling by Lana uh Crumweed, I believe, is how you say her last name. K-R-U-M-W-I-E-D-E. Uh, narrated by Nick Podell from Brilliance Audio. And the other one is called Boy from Anna Ziegler. That is a full cast production from L.A. Oh, Theater Works. Awesome. And you'll be able to download those and add them to your library. That's uh, I've known about Sync for about three years, so uh, this is the third year. They're on year eight, and I found out about them in year six. So, you know, like I said, I come to things quickly. And, um, but, but, the math um, is good you too. know, they have, you said you, well, this is my third year. Okay. Eight, seven, six. Okay. Uh, That's all right. three. But three my and six are good. nine. But, uh, anyway, sorry. Yes, three and six are nine. But, the sixth year was the first year I listened. The seventh year was the second year I listened. And stop me if you don't know where this is going, but the eighth year is the third year I've been listening. Okay. So, I'm going to have to Google that, but I'll take your word for it. Well, Google is a little bit more trustworthy than iTunes. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, boy. Okay. So that Apple sponsorship you've been yeah, working on. Yeah, that's um, really, yeah, that's going to go well. It's going, it's yeah. going well. Um, but no, like I said, you know, we, I have a list of people that, that um, we'd like to interview for the show. And uh, I want it to be feedback oriented. If there's something you want me to talk about on the show, um, we're going to have an email address, hopefully set up so that you can get in contact with us and, Send us your ideas and send us your. We're going to try to do, like I said, a question of the week to generate feedback, and so you'll be able to submit your answers that way, and and hopefully you'll have some show ideas and some topic suggestions of your own. Like I said, we want to have this be a listener participation heavy show. Um, I'm going to do a lot of talking. That's bad news if you don't like my voice. Which is another reason God invented the fast forward button. You could just sit in your car too, and it'd just be normal. And traffic. listen to Casey do the Talking Audiobooks podcast Absolutely. every week, dropping on Fridays. We thought we would drop it on Friday. That way, you know, if you listen to it 
on your weekend, your weekend would be ruined and not your Monday. <laughs> I'm not going to make your Mondays any worse by dropping a new And if you're listening on, to the Talking Audio Books podcast on a weekend, our condolences. Um, you yeah, should get a life, you should be perhaps. listening to an audio book. Yeah, well, you know, there you go. Preferably a PDQ audio book. Audiobook. That's right. They're they're good people. Their 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 stuff works. You know their their books. You know they they work. They're not iTunes mm-hmm. uh, download issues. And there you go. I've gotten really good at reinstalling my iTunes library when it crashes and gets uh-huh. erased and corrupt. Uh-huh. No reason whatsoever. But PDQ always reliable. You're gonna hear some commercials from them because without them and Audible and any potential future sponsors that I don't tick yeah, off, not including that, they Apple, bring us the yeah, show. Will not be part of that they, group. They, they bring you the show and make it worth our time doing it. Like I said, Ken's still going to be around, and we'll banter back and forth from time to time, just to. Well, there there are to, knobs to turn and curtains to hide behind, so I'll always have something to do. That's right. If 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 there's a production issue, it's there his fault. Go. He's still except the show. for. Show notes not appearing in iTunes. I have no control over that. So, that, if, if yeah, you look at that and um, they say, "Where are those? Where are those show notes that Casey promised?" Go to talkingaudiobooks.com, and every episode will have show notes and maybe even pictures of the books. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Next week it'll start for good, and we'll have some. You know, it'll be the pilot episode of version two. I guess you could call it of the. The we'll reboot, the, the sequel. upgraded version, you know, we get these regrettable episodes out of the way. Yeah, so everything's being rebooted. Pretty much, including the Talking Audiobooks podcast. It's you know, being rebooted just Whether we want it to be or not. Avid listeners who have just sent us those three or four emails that just said, we, where'd you guys go? So, here we are. Well, all seriousness aside, um, I am excited and thrilled that, Casey, you are going to be the host, and uh, I can just stay in the background and be the producer guy, and uh, maybe I'll take all the money. Well, that's what producers do, because, you know, what producers say to talent is, this will be great, this will be great exposure. So, anyway, I think we can pretty much say that we've overstayed our welcome for this week, and... And that uh, next week, uh, if you're here looking to hear Ken's glorious tones next week, you'll be disappointed because he's going back in the closet. Hey, Tom Cruise. And I'm not letting him out until Christmas. All right. Well, the clock on the wall says we've been talking for uh, 52 minutes and 57 seconds. So this is going to edit down into a great four minute spot. (laughs) (laughs) He thinks I'm kidding. Uh, like I said, check out the audiobook sync titles if you want some free books this week. Um, enjoy the NPR news article that we had earlier. And I don't know why I'm telling you to enjoy it if you've already heard it, but that's the kind of stuff you're going to get you when I'm home. Well, Casey, so. welcome aboard. Uh, I'm just excited to uh, be your producer guy and for you to be the host guy. Other than that, I think we're, we're ready to go. Next week is Reboot City. It's the all-new, brand-new Talking Audiobooks podcast with your host, Casey Trowbridge. For you, the listeners of the Talking Audiobooks podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com forward slash talking audiobooks. Again, that's audibletrial.com forward slash talking audiobooks for your free audiobook. Talking Audiobooks is a trademark of KenJoy Media, produced by KenJoy Media, copyright 2017, all rights reserved. Your host has been Casey Trowbridge, produced by KenJoy, theme music composed by Christian Anderson, licensed through EpidemicMusic.com. Visit our website at TalkingAudiobooks.com, follow us on Twitter at Talking Audio, follow us on Facebook at Talking Audiobooks, and subscribe to the Talking Audiobooks YouTube channel. Here's a disclaimer. Various sponsors like Audible.com help make this podcast possible. However, they are not responsible for its content. They don't dictate what we talk about or what books we share with you. And therefore, the opinions that you hear on here are unfortunately those of the host and our guests. 
We'd love to hear from you, so email us at feedback at talkingaudiobooks.com. Tell us what audiobooks you're listening to, what you've liked in the past, narrators that you like. Ask us questions, anything. It's for your feedback. Feedback at talkingaudiobooks.com. That's it. See you next time on Talking Audiobooks.